Okay, so I've just changed this brake and we've just put all brand new fluid through. So I've flushed out the clutch, I've flushed out the brake system, um, with the brakes. Also changed the air filter. The air filter was really simple. You just undo these clips on this box, lift this up, pull the old air out, put a new one in. Flip back on. Simplicity in itself, that is. Um, to change this, it's quite easy. You pull this little circuit pin. Can we see this here? Pull this circuit pin out of the pole there, push that rod out, lift that up, put the new one in, put the pin through, and put the circuit back on. Um, very simple. My next task now is it's having a quick service is to get it up on ramps, get underneath it, and have a look at this power steering. Hi everyone, and welcome back. As you can see, I'm back at the ambulance. This is now the third week that I've owned it. Um, the first week was just like seeing what we needed. Um, as you see, I changed all the fluids and everything I needed to change. Um, unseized all the brakes. Um, that was a nightmare job. And trust me, everything I've done on this van, it fought me all the way. <clears throat> this is the problem with having a van that's been sitting for 10 years, I suppose. But um, anyway, so I eventually changed everything. Um, went to start the van, put my foot on the clutch and the slave cylinder went. So I had to remove the gearbox, which was last weekend's job. Um, oh, absolute nightmare. Trying to undo bolts that haven't been undone for 10 years. Um, trying to even pull drive shafts out, etc. It was just an absolute nightmare. Something I never want to relive again. Um, I don't like front wheel drive gearboxes. Rear wheel drives are a lot easier to do. Why is it so complicated? But anyway, so I got the gearbox out, changed the safety and put a new one in. I put the gearbox back together and it's working fine. Um, so I'm just having a cup of coffee because you can't beat the coffee. You know, you've got to have a coffee to keep you going. So cheers. And then I'm going to um, bring the van down off ramps because it's up on the ramps at the moment, obviously, because I've been underneath it and then take it for its first drive. I haven't got any seats as such fixed into the front yet. Um, in the process of making a seat box, still to bolt a seat in. But um, I'll give it a go anyway. I don't go for it, just go down the road or something. I'm lucky enough because I'm on the ambulance is actually parked on a farm. So it's private property, so I can just drive it up and down the track um, to be my first drive, which will be very exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to actually starting the conversion on it, but um, the jobs I've had to do in the meantime are just, yeah, it's fault me every way. But, um, obviously, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Well, this is the first drive I'm having on my ambulance, so engine is running sounds okay suspension's all pumped up Let's see if i can pop you up here and let's have a little go so this is the first time it's going to move under its own steam hopefully in 10 years oh i'll wake up with this phone how about there should we have a go let's see I've got a clutch down, it's in first gear. Brakes a little bit stiff. Oh, listen to that. But she's moving. She's most definitely moving. Oh my God. Yes, this feels so good after all the blood, sweat and tears I put into this van. It feels so good to have it finally moving. Let's see if we can loosen these back brakes up a little bit. Let's go backwards because the brakes are a bit stuck on. Which is a bit annoying, so let's see if we can loosen these a bit. Let's go backwards. Don't want to drive it too far because obviously it has no power steering, which makes it quite hard to steer. But yes, I am happy. My first drive is successful. Right, well, as you can see, I'm back at the ambulance. Um, 
still not MOT'd. Um, not really a lot I can do at the moment because I'm waiting on parts. I need a new indicator. Um, the brakes are no good, so I need to service the calipers because they're not reclining this stick in. Um, also, because the wheels were sticking, um, I burnt the clutch out, so it needs a new clutch fitting as well. So that's coming as well at the weekend. So I thought today I'd just take these stickers off. I've been really lucky, it's been an absolutely scorching day today. So um, the stickers are actually peeling off quite easy, as you can see. Um, so I've been quite lucky. So this is all I've been doing so far. So I'm going to pull some more stickers off and um, come back to you with an update in a minute. Well, I'm back at the ambulance again. It still has no MOT. Um, it's got a couple of problems, as I've already said. So I'm waiting on parts, and as soon as the parts are here, then I should have new MOT. So I started to take the stickers off yesterday. Um, spent a good five or six hours doing that. <sighs> Tedious, but um, you know, the results getting out. I'm nearly done on them, so I'll show you them shortly when I've finished. Um, but I decided to um, make some space because it's actually like a. I won't swear, but it's absolutely like a, a hole in here, and um, so it needs a good clean. It's every everywhere, and um, yeah, and I've got to start stripping some bits out. So let me just show you what it's looking like at the moment. Oh, I've got grease all over me. This is the problem with working on vehicles; you just get filthy. But anyway, I'll, um, I'll show you what it looks like at the moment, and then I'll show you what I'm going to take out. As you can see, it is a total mess. There's stuff everywhere. So what my plan is now, I'm going to remove these orange bars from the back door, because I don't want them there. I'm going to take this off the wall. Um, I'm probably going to remove all these chairs. Don't know what I'm going to do about them yet. I want to remove this back partition out of the way. I'm not sure about these cupboards up there. I'll probably take the cupboards down and move them along in, a, in, the, in the depth of it, but I'm not sure at the moment because ideally I want to get this ceiling down because I don't want it. And also there's a void above it and um, I would really like to make, um, uh, actually, yeah, no, I would really like to make a lift up bed, you know, like so I can have chairs down here, which in a day and a bed up in the ceiling, what drops down you know, when I want to use it kind of thing. So the void in the ceiling I could actually use. So I really want to take the ceiling down. So first things first, let's um, start stripping. There you go, first piece down. This one is a little bit different, obviously, because it has um, the controls in it for the lift, um, the vamp. So I have to sort that wiring out afterwards. I've just removed this off the wall from over there. It was, where was it? It was, can I get, there you are. It was there on the wall. Um, I was just going to throw it away, but I was looking at it, and I have got the knob, I took that off. I'm not quite sure where I've put that at the moment. Everything's a bit of a mess, but I know it's here because I took it off. Um, I was just going to throw it away, but looking at it, it's actually a changeover. You know, it would have been full of oxygen and whatever, but it's actually like a changeover kit um, for... So I wonder if it can be... Um, Maybe the gauge need to be gauge will need to be changed. But I was just wondering if it could be used gas bowls, you know, for two gas bowls to change over. Because basically there's one supply in, there's the other supply in, and it's either Yeah, I it's either that one on or this one on. This gauge would read wrong. 
but maybe the cage could be replaced. So it's up there. Bad camera, bad bad cameraman. Um, yeah, maybe the cage could be replaced. Could be um, replaced. But that's why it can't be used as a changeover for gas. Um, for two gas bottles. So I might not actually throw this away. I might. Um, I might do something with it. It'd be nice to keep something original. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Hmm. Pondering. <laughs>